we'll take you to the nation's capital where the Warriors to Washington program is here for their fifth year in a row. They are called Warriors to Washington. I think in the five-year history of Warriors to Washington, we've really stayed within our mission parameters. We wanted to reach out and talk with veterans and take veterans that uh, were deployed after 9-11 to Washington, D.C., show them the sights there, stop here in Shanksville, uh, and we've done that. And I think that as any organization grows, you, you get a stronger commitment to what you're doing. And I think that that's happened for us. We've gotten a stronger commitment from our group members and from the community. And that's really been quite rewarding. We have a number of families that are special. They're all special in their own ways because they all have taken the time, uh, sacrificed that time away from one another. And that really is priceless. Uh, that's that commitment to the, the greater nation, if you would. And of course, we have the King family here, so a Gold Star family who has uh, bared a sacrifice that's difficult to imagine. Uh, but for us, it's, it's rewarding to be able to take those people to Washington, to show them the things that we do, to bring them here to Shanksville as a way of saying thank you, because we understand what that service and that, uh, that has meant to them and meant to their families. For us, our plan going forward is to stay within mission, to stay on task and do what we've done in the past. We want the group to be uh, kind of the right size fit that's not too big so it's too unwieldy when you get into Washington and that we can uh, really pay special attention to the people that we take, to the veterans that we take, so we can properly thank them. It's not meant to be a big group that we take with us, it's, it's supposed to be manageable. Uh, and that's what we want. We want that manageable number that fits on a charter bus and we can go and see the sites uh, and kind of do the things that we do and not too big for us. What we would like to see is Warriors to Washington start to spring up in other parts of Pennsylvania or other parts of the country. And there's been some interest, so we'd like to see our first franchise Warriors to Washington group. It'd be kind of a neat thing to have happen. For me personally, as a former commander, uh, you always feel a responsibility for the people who serve with you and that you're in charge of. So as a commander, it makes me feel great uh, to know that I'm able to take other veterans and, and really thank them in a way that's uh, tangible. We're giving them memories. Uh, we're connecting them, them with people that uh, are other veterans like themselves and family members so that they get to see, again, the sights of Washington, stop here at Shanksville, but to bring them together uh, with other veterans who've served, who share that common experience. Uh, it's very rewarding for me. I think there's a couple of reasons that make the trip important. One is to actually be there on the ground because it's so different when you're there looking at something. But two, it's to share in that common experience. Uh, so with other veterans and part of this group this year, they'll share a common bond, uh, that they've experienced the same kinds of things together. And that means a lot. And for us as an organization, we're very small, uh, but we try and do a lot with uh, what we have available for us. And we have a lot of people to thank for that. So we're really grateful for the people who support us too. On purpose, this is at no cost to the people who we invite. We do the fundraising on our own so that they can get on the bus and come enjoy the sights and stay in a nice place and eat lots of food and uh, bond with other veterans and have a good time doing it. WarriorsToWashington.org is our website and we're also on Facebook. So if you uh, are interested in the organization at all, uh, simply go online, look us up. The application for next year will be posted very soon uh, and we'll be again taking a limited number of people so we'll go through the application process and our board does the selection for that. So we, um, we want to be accessible and typically today you do that through social media or you do it through a website and that's what we do.